Hello my friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I haven't filmed in the lab in quite a while to be honest uh, because I've been kind of in and out of the lab and when I have been in the lab I have been incredibly busy trying to finish experiments before Christmas and uh, other times I've been at home writing so there's not been that much exciting stuff going on really. Today is Friday the 23rd of December so it is the final day that the university is open for the Christmas holidays. So I am in actually just recording some videos today. Uh, I had a video to create for a collaborator that I'm working with on Instagram and I just wanted to come on the camera and give you guys a little update about what's been going on in my life recently. So like I mentioned this is the 23rd so the university is closing and it's closed until the 4th of January so I am going to be at home for the holidays and I've decided to give myself today off tomorrow, Sunday and Monday, which is Boxing Day. And then between Boxing Day and New Year, I will be working, unfortunately. Of course, not in the lab because it's going to be closed, but I need to write my thesis. So just to remind you all, I have the intention of submitting my PhD thesis before the 28th of February, so before the end of the month. So January and February are going to be very busy for me trying to write everything up, uh, well finish writing everything up because I have started writing of course or else I would be in a very very tricky situation right now. And so far I have completed one chapter which I have sent to my supervisor, he said he will return it to me in January. I am currently working on the appendix for this chapter, so the appendix is basically where you put all of the kind of additional data, the additional graphs, the additional figures, the NMR data, the mass spectrometry data, which you haven't put in the actual chapter, if that makes sense. So this actually takes quite a long time because you need to annotate everything. So in terms of like my NMR spectra, I need to label all of the peaks saying which carbon is which peak, which hydrogen is which peak, and this takes such a long time. So I was actually working on this yesterday and it took me a few hours to go through all of the data just for two compounds out of six. Also during the holidays I need to do some data analysis but this is the kind of data analysis that I can do whilst watching Christmas movies hopefully so that's the plan. So no rest for the wicked for me unfortunately. What else has been going on? on. I've basically finished up my experiments now, that's why I was in quite a rush in the lab before Christmas to get so many things done, but I do have a few little experiments to do in January but I'm really hoping they won't take me long and that everything goes well and yeah we can finish with lab work ASAP. In terms of my other chapters of my thesis, I have started writing them and there is one chapter which I just need to add some additional data that I'm actually waiting for from my collaborators in France. So once I receive that, I can add those results in, I can discuss those results, I can make the conclusion, and then that chapter is also finished, which is good news. There's also another chapter which is about 80% finished, I need to also do the conclusion, and I need to just go through and kind of tidy up what I have written and make it sound a little bit nicer. And then that chapter will also be done. There's one chapter which I have started, but it's only like, let's say 10% done. Um, so I really need to focus on that chapter. And I have not started my introduction because that's gonna be painful and oh god you can't really write an introduction until you know you've written the bulk text of your thesis because then you know what you need to add into your introduction and what's not so important. If you didn't know I actually published a mini review paper at the beginning of this year so I am going to use that as kind of like the foundations for my introduction and then I'm just going to expand on it um, with other literature and um, focus on some other areas which I did not mention in the review paper. So yeah everything is pretty busy at the moment. I have also been interviewing for jobs and applying for jobs because I really want to have something lined up for when I finish my PhD. I actually have been offered a job which is so exciting. I wasn't sure if I was going to mention it but I'm not going to mention any of the details today. I want to make a full video about 
that and the job application and everything but I am so happy that I have been offered a job because it's just so nice that I have something lined up for when I finish my PhD. So yeah, stay tuned because I will write a video about my thought process when I was applying for jobs and I will tell you more about it. But yeah, I am so, so, so happy that all my hard work has paid off. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me at the moment. Um, I am very much in those final few months of wrapping everything up and before I got this job offer, I was feeling quite demotivated and very, very, tired and without energy but I feel like since I now have something to look forward to when I finish yeah it's given me like an extra lease of life and it's given me that extra push to want to finish my PhD um, on time and I am just yeah I feel motivated and I think I am ready for 2023 and what it is going to bring for me. Thank you so much for watching as always uh, this video will be posted after Christmas so I hope you have had a lovely Christmas if you celebrate and all the best for the new year and yes let's see what 2023 brings but I think it is going to be an exciting one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video in 2023. Bye!